How frustrating of a night was that for you guys' defense? Um, extremely. You know, not really because, like, you know, we lost, but I would say how we lost. It felt like we weren't playing up to our standard of play as a whole defense. Um, we just got to be better. Everybody has to do their job. People have to have their eyes on the right spot. And we just got to execute at the end of the day. So it's just kind of disappointing. Did you do anything that surprised you? Or was that kind of um, no, they did exactly what we, what we knew they were going to do. You know, that was a good team. We just went and played. And, you know, when you're not as when we don't play up to our standard and we don't play with the physicality and we don't execute how we're supposed to, stuff like that happens, especially when you're playing in these big 10 games against other good opponents. So, you know, we just got to be better. What was your sense of just where guys' heads were at sort of in the second half and even in overtime when you get that extra chance? Uh, what do you see from guys? I mean... <laughs> It felt, it felt how it usually feels. Um, I don't really, I don't really know how. I don't really know how to answer that question. But like, I mean, the energy was there. Everybody was ready to go out on the field and attack. Um, ball just didn't roll our way. And you know, as a especially like as a defense, we got to be way better than we were tonight. You know. I feel like if the offense scores 24 points, we need to win the game, personally. So, What can you learn from a loss like this going forward? Um, everybody, if everybody does their 111, um, I think the guys on our team are some very special dudes. You know, our roster as a whole is very talented, very, you know, physical and all that different stuff. But when we all are on the same page and everybody is doing exactly what they're, they've been coached to do since we've been practicing in the spring, um, I feel like the sky's the limit for this team. And, you know, we knew it right away, right after. We knew it at halftime before we even got to the end of the game that we, we didn't feel like we were playing as good as we know we could actually play. And, you know, it's over now. There's nothing to do but get ready for Purdue next week. So. Appreciate it. Jamal, what was the feeling like in that locker room? Uh, I feel like you know you got something special. You know that was taken from you, and you can't get it back. You know, you got to learn to live without it, so. What was the, the sense you got from guys headed into the overtime? Obviously, the last drive didn't go how you wanted it, but what, what were you seeing from guys? Uh, the last drive? Yeah, yeah, uh, in overtime. Yeah, like during the last drive? Yeah. Um, you know, maintain hope. Uh, there's no doubt in our mind that the game was over. Uh, until the clock, or until you know, they, it's over. So, what do you see out of Dylan tonight? Composure, poise, leadership. That far, like I said, you know. What's the key as a as a, a veteran to help, help the guys? You know, move on to the yeah. next one. Um, you know, just. Continuing to to walk the walk, uh, you know, lift them up, lift myself up, you know, just keep going, you know. Want to know next week? You had a pretty involved role early on, more so than probably the last three games. Was that the plan going in and just getting out there to make an immediate impact? How was that? Yeah, I'm. Uh, 
It was good, you know, I was I was out there just doing my job, you know what I'm saying? Just like you. I'm just a little more magnified because of entertainment, so it just you know, plays was open, tagged him, you know, we made some plays. Hey, you've been on some teams that have, that have uh, bounced back, won some won some games in ways that maybe some of the guys in the locker room have not. Uh, mm -hmm. What's your advice this week for how, how you guys bounce back and, and, and go on the road and win? Nothing really changes. You know, we practice hard like we practiced last week. Attention to detail like we practiced this past week. Um, I think just I think just taking that feeling, feeling it. And um, learning from the feeling, learning from the tape, the game, and just, you know, some of you don't want to feel again. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Hey, Ty, the focus all off season was chasing three, winning these close games. Um, well, what's the feeling like after losing one in this fashion? Yeah, you know, I mean, that was a Big Ten game right there. Uh, you know, that's like, I don't know, like the typical kind of, you know, going down to the last play type of deal. But, you know, it hurts because uh, we really just kind of beat ourselves, uh, especially on defense. And, but, you know, what's awesome is that we get to come back uh, next week and, you know, clean up a lot of the mistakes that we saw on the field and, and uh, you know, get better. Is there a shift from first half to second half to the plays they, they were calling and executing? It looked like they were having a little bit more success in that second half. Yeah, I mean, you know, we knew they were going to try and run the ball. Uh, you know, we held them pretty well to the first half. You know, I didn't, you know, being on the interior, I don't really know what's kind of going on uh, going on outside of me. I knew me and Nash were getting doubled a lot during the game. Uh you know, I kept coming off the sideline because those guys were run blocking us up front, and I'm not even knowing it's a pass type of deal. So, you know, it's just kind of things, you know, that we can work on, you know, maybe me recognizing that's pass faster or, you know, trying to make an impact on the play when they're trying to take us out of it type of deal. Is there a, you know, as a leader talking to, talking to the guys about penalties, sometimes those things happen. They were costly tonight, though, the ones on the defense. Yeah, you know, I mean, emotions got flared, uh, you know, we want, you know, football is a passionate game, right? So it's just, just kind of, and for me, from experience, you know, I was pretty hot-headed, you know, when I was younger. Uh, just, you know, trying to help those young guys understand to control their emotions and, you know, take it out on them during the play, not after, you know, there's no need for that. Did you feel like the communication was good, at, like in between series and all that, or did, did it fill off tonight or anything like that? No, we were, you know, coming on the sideline, we were able to communicate with each other pretty well. Uh, you know, like I said, we just kind of beat ourselves. You know, just got to do your job. Uh, takes all 11 guys to do their job. One guy is out of place, doesn't do their job, then, you know, things like those things happen. So, you know, that's what's great about this defense is that we're able to come, you know, we all consider ourselves lions, right? And being able to, you know, be in the moment, be emotional, but not, you know, take it to heart that, you know, this guy's getting in my ass. I mean, John was getting in my, getting in my ass on the field, you know, for my penalty, and, you know, we were going back and forth, but it was like an understood kind of respect type of deal. What's the, uh, it's a long season. What's the key to, you know, get back at it? I mean, just start again on Monday. And the process doesn't stop. Uh, you know, we're not going to change up our process. It works. And like I said, we just beat ourselves tonight. So it's really just, you know, key to go back, look at the film, you know, really be honest and truthful with ourselves uh, and then just apply it back on, on the field and practice. Ty, as one of the leaders on this team, what is one of the biggest messages that you have for the younger guys after a loss like this? I mean, you learn so much more from a loss than a win, right? Uh, you know, we're all happy when we win and you might not see the mistakes as well, but in a loss, you know, when it comes down, and I mean, we even saw it last week, right, on, on defense, and, you know, guys were getting after it this past week, but, you know, if they keep showing up or, you know, new problems show up, it's, it's that's what, like I said, that's what's great about this this team is we're able to come together, you know, help fix each other. Don't just go to the, to the plate toward the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, Coach Will really pra pra praised your vision for being able to see Luke uh, kind of break open mm -hmm. there. What did you see, and, and, and what would you like back about the throw? 
I just saw, saw Lou Brown wide open and, uh, I don't know, I missed a throw, win the game. And, uh, I mean, that was, that was our chance to go win the game. So, uh, I'll, take, I'll take this game on, on my back and, you know, I got to get better and be better for our team and uh, put us in a position to win. Overall, how do you feel the offense performed tonight? I think we did fine. Obviously, we didn't win the game, so uh, it's not good enough. But uh, proud of the way they fought. Um, all line played their tails off. Receivers ran. Running backs ran hard, and um, just came up short. So uh, figure out what happened, and, and correct it, and move on, and get better. What were your immediate takeaways from your first Big Ten game? The physicality of it. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't anything different. I, just same old football. You know what I'm saying? It's. It's not a different kind of football playing in the Big Ten and playing other conferences. So, yeah, it was fine. It was fun. Uh, great atmosphere. Uh, we felt it came up short. When the, deep, when, when, the deep, when the defense is not admittedly not bringing their A game, I mean, how much pressure do you feel to kind of match the opponent's score for score when they're putting up points? Yeah, it's uh, – I mean, it's not really the defense's fault. It's our, it's our job to just score regardless of the circumstance. Um, they had a they had a fine old machine on offense, and uh, their quarterback played his butt off. And uh, hats off to them. Had a great game plan, and um, yeah, there's really no added pressure. It just comes down to execution, and, and I think our defense played very well. Um, but there's some little things that we want to obviously get back in. Um, can obviously change the outcome of the game. What did you see from Isaiah, and how has that connection developed over the first couple games? Yeah, I've seen a lot of improvement from him. Uh, he busts his tail in practice, uh, which leads to success in the game. Um, super proud of him. And, uh, you know, wish we could have got him a couple more throws to, to go make plays. But overall, I'm very proud of Zay. Obviously, Dylan, this is first loss for you at, at this level. I mean, how much is it kind of fueling you to work this week and put this behind you and go, as you guys say, 1-0 and next week? Yeah, we uh, – let this one hurt for you know for a day or two and then move on from it. But uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, it's the same preparation every week: win, lose, or draw. Um, and you know, when, when you come up short, you you really find out what your team's about. So uh, we'll come in tomorrow, watch the tape. Sunday, watch the tape, and uh, get ready to no go next week. Hey, Isaiah, as a as a veteran of this college game, what, what, what do you tell guys, you know, to, to get back at it after a tough one like this? You know, just keep your head up. You know, it's a lot of football left to be played. You know, obviously things didn't go our way, but, um, you know, um, we got to go out there, correct what needs to be corrected, and understand that, you know, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of football left to be played. So, you know, let's just... You know, you know, go back. You know, watch the film, see what we did, see what we need to do, and you know, try to go one and know next week. You obviously had a, a good night. The the one that, or they call it an interception. What what do you see on it? You, did you think you had it, or what was your thought right away? Just got to finish the catch. Um, you know, Dylan did a good job of putting the ball out there. You know, I got to do my part of just, you know, finishing it, finishing the catch. You know, those are, you know, plays that that need to be made, and it's on me to go out there and just, you know, finish that. On the same side, though, you had that uh, great catch with the toe drag, right? Mm -hmm. How was that for you? Um, it, it was great, you know. Um, you know, we kind of went into a little scramble, and I seen Dylan rolling out, and um, my job is to, you know, get open so that he can, you know, place the ball where it needs to be placed and, you know, made a, made a play, so it was very exciting. You've been on some, some good teams, some teams that have won a lot of football games. Um, what's your advice for maybe some of your teammates who, who haven't experienced the level of winning you have in some other places? You know, my advice is just to, um, you know, keep our heads up. You know, there's, you know, yes, we took the loss, but, you know, there's a lot of football left to be played. We're a really good football team. You know, um, obviously, it's a lot of self-inflicted wounds uh, created out there, but, you know, those are things that can be corrected, you know. So my advice is to, you know, just to, just to um, stay strong. You know, there's no, there's no reason to to, to lose folk, to lose faith or, or lose any type of confidence because you know we put in a, to way too much work for for that to happen. So I believe in these guys, and I'm excited for what we got coming up. Dylan said that uh, 
after losses when you really learn what your team is made of? What are you hoping to see what this team is made of in the you know pretty weak prep? You know, I'm hoping to. I, I know for a fact that you know we're gonna go out there and play our best ball. You know, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I've seen the work that we've put in as a team, and I know I know that we can overcome adversity, and we could. Um, you know, do what it takes to, to go out there and, and be successful. So, you know, tough loss, but I believe in the guys that, you know, that we're going to forget, have short-term memory, and go out there and try to go one and know each week. Yeah, Isaiah Dillon also said that just felt like another football game, first Big Ten game for him in prime time. What have you seen from him in terms of his level of composure and how he performed tonight? Um, from the very first time, you know, I've caught a pass from him, you know, I – I don't think I've ever seen him nervous or anything like that. It's just in him. You know, he's a natural competitor. Um, really fortunate to be, um, to have, you know, him as a quarterback. And, you know, for for him being a freshman, he's just, he's, he's really, really mature. And um, our job is to uh, make it as comfortable for him as possible. You know, be on the same page and build the chemistry and, you know, try to win games. Anything else for Isaiah? You and Jamal combining for 16 targets. The way you guys can get involved, how can that you know help you guys gain more confidence as a receiving core with Purdue coming up next week? Uh, just understanding that you know, um, you know Jamal. He's a, first off, he's a special player. You know, um, I learned a lot from him. You know, from from day one meeting him uh, and watching him in practice. You know, I try to learn uh, a lot from from his style of play. And you know, not even just him and him and I. All the all the receivers combined, I feel like you know we're a really special group. And um, uh, to un you got to understand that uh, moving forward, you know, we're gonna have to do what it takes to to take this offense to to another level. So I really love those guys. And yeah. Last one for you to follow up. It was a very physical Illinois secondary. What did you make of of the Illini secondary? Even though you had two touchdowns, still found a way to show some physicality on their end. I mean, yeah, they were they were a physical team. You know, we knew that coming into the week that it was going to be a battle, um, and um, you know, um, they they did a great job of doing what they had to do. You know, and um, we just got to do a better job of you know just eliminating the self inflicted wounds, and you know, learn from our mistakes. But um, yeah, go, coming into the week, we we knew it was going to be a dog fight, and. Unfortunately, we didn't come out on top, but um, you know we'll learn what we need to learn and go one to know next week. All right, thank you, Isaiah. Thank you. Thanks, Isaiah.